If you're a home recordist and you need maybe one, two or four inputs, there are a plethora of audio interfaces out there. The market is awash with them. There's loads. And we're going to be doing a review of the best ones for your needs very soon. But what if you need more than that? There are a lot of people that are in a band and might want to record their whole band. They might need a lot of simultaneous inputs. You may, for example, eat up eight to 10 channels on drums. You might need two channels for bass. You need guitars. You need channels for keyboards. You need horns, strings, cowbell, triangle, live dogs, five cats, a medium-sized shrub, a goat, a bear in a bag, three rabbits and a field mouse. There's all sorts of things you could need to mic up at one go. What do you do if you need more inputs? More inputs. Most audio interfaces only offer up to eight. And if you want to expand, you need to add ADA interfaces and horrible things like that. That's no good. Well, the answer might be the five cats. So first, let's give you a bit of a backstory. We moved studios in 2016 to the premises we're in at the moment, and I decided that would be a good opportunity to drag myself kicking and screaming into the 21st century and try and embrace some of the new digital technology. The way we were working back at the old place was, well, to start off with, it was a large mixer and analog tape, ditched the analog tape in about 2014, I think, and we moved over to an entirely hybrid setup so we were recording digitally but we were still mixing mainly in the analog domain so the setup consisted of a large format 48 channel huge analog mixing console that was connected to a mac pro now the mac pro at the time had pci slots so we had a motu pci card in the back of the mac pro and that was connected to breakout boxes which were motu's own 24 io units that gave us 48 channels in and 48 channels out of the computer and could easily be expanded up to 96 inputs and outputs just by plugging in more expansion units straight into the back of the pci slot great it was super fast super reliable just brilliant sounded great fantastic solution then we moved and that mac pro started to get a bit long in the tooth so we looked at new mac options and of course apple ditched support for pci so we were left with two options one was usb bleh, two was thunderbolt now the problem with thunderbolt back in 2016 was that you could only get an eight channel interface that would only give you eight simultaneous inputs into the computer. We need three times that. So once again, it was back to ADAT. We had to have an eight channel Thunderbolt interface, super rock solid, running at lightning fast speeds, and then connect two eight channel expanders to that with bloody ADAT. ADAT, go away, never come back. So we looked into lots of different options and the only real option at the time seemed to be to go backwards and to buy an old Mac Pro that had PCI slots. Well, we didn't really want to go for a 10 year old secondhand computer. And the problem with software updates and everything else, new plugins not working with the old operating system, can't use the new operating system because you're relying on 10 year old hardware. It just wasn't an effective solution. So that presented us with a problem. And the problem was, how on earth do you get 24 channels of pristine audio reliably into a computer two decades into the 21st century whilst making sure that any optical cables and any ADAT expansion units remained well and truly in the bin? Well, the solution presented itself from Live World. Since the turn of the century, Live World has run leaps and bounds ahead of Studio World in terms of the technology it's embracing, and quite rightly so. How many touring bands do you see today that still lug around a 48 channel mixing desk in an enormous flight case that weighs the same as Birmingham, racks and racks of hardware compressors and EQ because, oh, it sounds better. None, they're all embracing digital technology. The reason they're embracing digital technology is because it's cheaper, it's lighter, it's much more reliable it's recallable you can program you know scenes for certain venues so if you go go back to the albert hall you can load up your albert hall sound check from where you left off last time and you've got a great starting point 
digital technology in the live world has been embraced much, much better than it has in studio world. So we thought, let's take a bit of inspiration from live world and see if we can translate that into the studio. So what solution did we come up with? Well, the answer was this, and more importantly, this. And that is where the five cats come in. These days, instead of seeing some smelly old wall box with a load of dodgy solder connections connecting our live room to our control room, you'll see this. This is a 24 input stage box primarily intended for live welder and this connects directly into our control room using a single cat 5 cable this means that we can get 24 channels of pristine audio straight into our mac no fuss no analog no ADAT, no fuss just 24 channels of pristine audio and 12 channels back should we require it down a single cat 5 cable so our ecosystem is this. We have this in the live room, Cat5 cable to the control room. That Cat5 cable plugs directly into this, which takes care of latency-free monitor mixes for the musicians, and we can have up to 12 independent mixes firing out of the back of the stage box, which is huge. The amount of analog cabling required to do that a few years ago is ridiculous and largely unreliable, prone to noise, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This then plugs straight into our Mac, and bosh, there we go. That's it, that's the entire system set up using just one Cat5 cable. But what's really great for anyone wanting to record more than eight inputs at once is that this and many of its competitors acts as an AVB audio interface, meaning that I can plug a single ethernet cable from this into my Mac and my Mac will see this as a 24 channel audio interface and that can be a huge boon for anyone wanting to record a band. If you still want to go the PCI route, the price of the new Mac Pro that supports PCI once again is probably prohibitively expensive for a lot of musicians coming in even for the base option at around £6,000 and none of the manufacturers are making PCI interfaces anymore because Mac discontinued PCI in 2013, first time round, and all the audio interface manufacturers went, uh, Apple aren't making a computer that will accept our devices anymore. So they all went the Thunderbolt route or the USB route or indeed the Cat5 route. And that's where these Cat5 stage boxes that can act as interfaces can be of huge benefit to us studio guys. So basically, our rack unit packs all of the punch in this desk into a rack, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, there's no controls on it. How do you control it? Well, there's two ways. You can control it directly via the computer using PreSonus's own universal control app, or you can plug in a router and you can control it over Wi-Fi uh, from an iPad, from your phone. Again, in live world, this is great, but in studio world, it's great too, because when we're using the stage box in the live room and the desk in the control room, we can run all the monitor mixes through the desk for the musicians playing in the live room. But not only that, the more tech savvy amongst them can download the free app and they can control their own mix using their phone. So if they're using a phone or an iPad on a stand next to their instrument and they want a bit more drums, they can just reach out and turn the drums up. What's really great when you combine the two is not only the pristine audio quality you get, but this, and this is 90% of this desk's job in the studio when it comes to mixing, this can also be used as a DAW controller. You press the DAW button on the top and bosh, it's a MIDI controller. It controls Logic, Pro Tools, Studio One, any of the major DAWs. All in all, it's a great ecosystem and there aren't really many options even now in 2020 if you want to record more than eight inputs at once which if you're recording a band you do the only real other options you've got are to go back down the ADAT route and we definitely don't want to go the ADAT route or you can go for some of the newer daisy chainable interfaces from the likes of Slate Digital and Universal Audio. Now they're great, that's a great option, they sound fantastic, but 
if you want 24 inputs, you've got to daisy chain three of those devices and then you start to run up a bill. This gives you superb sound quality and either 16, 24 or 32 inputs, depending on which model you go for, and doesn't cost anywhere near as much as you might think. So if you're looking for a great interface solution that will give you lots of inputs, lots of the same input to record a band or to, to yeah, record whatever you're doing. If you need more than eight mic preamps, you just need to mic up a band. No, you're not gonna run out of inputs, not have to borrow you know, inputs from, oh, we won't mic the hi-hat today because there's an extra guitar player. If you need extra inputs, you need to get lots of sources into the computer at once. Then look to Live World because some of the solutions for digital stage boxes in Live World, some of them work over Dante. There's just many, many options. They sound great. They're built for Live World, so they're reliable, robust, really well built. Have a look to Live World and look at anything with a Cat5 socket on the back. Now, I was very, very skeptical of running all my audio down a Cat5 cable because, you know, sometimes I, it, I'm the kind of guy where it might take me two days to get the Wi-Fi working at home. So running all of my audio down a Cat5 cable kind of scared the hell out of me. But, you know, it's better than a USB connection. Um, it's just a fantastic solution. So if you need to get lots of mic inputs into your computer, then do yourself a favor and check out some of the stage boxes from the like of PreSonus, Midas are doing them, Behringer are doing them if you want to go budget end. There's lots of different options, lots of different features for each one. For example, our one has an SD card slot on the front and you don't even, if you want to record a gig, you don't even need to take the computer. You can record it straight to the SD card, take the SD card out, bosh, you've got your main mix there. This one, this desk, will actually record the multi-track. So you can record a 32 channel audio recording on an SD card. And then when you get back to the studio, take the SD card out, pop it in your computer and you've got 32 channels of audio come up. That's fantastic. Not only fantastic if you're doing live gigs and you want to record the gigs, but if you're working on location or maybe you're going to record a band live in a location setting, you don't even need to take a computer. You can do everything in the desk and then just come back, take the SD card out, pop it in your computer, copy the files over, switch to DAW mode and get mixing. It's a fantastic solution. So have a look at that. If you need lots of inputs, Live World is the place to go. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe, please ding the bell thing, please give us a like and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.